Hello, this is Dr. Jeff Tarrant, director of the Neuro Meditation Institute. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to describe a little bit about what we're talking about when we say a focus meditation. What is that exactly? So a focus style of meditation is any kind of meditation where you are holding your attention on a single target. So it might be your breath, it might be a mantra, it might be an image of you know a mandala or a Buddha. Anything like that where your goal is to hold your attention on one thing is going to be a focus style of meditation. Now, if you've ever tried this before, you know what happens. You hold your attention, the mind wanders, but then your job is to catch the mind wandering and get it back. Now, this type of practice, even though it seems very simple, is actually very complicated. It's probably one of the hardest things to do. The mind doesn't like to stay in one place. It likes to go find something more interesting to do. Now, what's important about this style is that it develops a stability of attention. It teaches the mind to stay put, to just do one thing. Not only that, but it actually activates your frontal lobes. The frontal lobes of your brain are involved in things like holding attention, but they're also involved in other executive functions, decision-making, emotion regulation, inhibition of things, stopping yourself from doing things that you shouldn't be doing. So when you are engaging in a focus meditation, you're actually exercising your frontal lobes. You're strengthening them so that they can do their job better. The research is very consistent that this can help with reaction time, memory, uh, and a variety of other cognitive skills. So for this reason, it's a very useful strategy for people who have some sort of ADHD or maybe cognitive decline as you're getting older or you know impact of a traumatic brain injury. Anything that affects those frontal lobe skills, the focus practice is going to be really powerful and really beneficial. So I hope you'll check out some of the resources that we have available and uh, good luck.